Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. So some people have asked me about the installation of the window fan on the window. I personally felt like it was pretty straightforward, but I realize if you've never installed one before, you're a little bit anxious about getting something that is shipped over to you, maybe from Amazon. Uh, please use my links down below, by the way. Then maybe you want to have a little bit better idea about how this is to install. All right, there are these two lips right here. Basically, the frame of the window goes in between these two slots right over here. And I want to say it's a, it's got about like three inches of clearance. And with those three inches, it, it gives you a lot of, of room in order to attach it to a window maybe that has a frame or maybe it has a thick window frame or maybe a window that has a screen. So it just slides on right in through there. And on the bottom, uh, there is no such thing down there because you don't really need one. This just kind of hits up against the... Uh, the frame itself. So someone asked, well, what about the screens? How to keep the bugs and everything out? Well, this is a very basic bug screen. Of course, it's not going to keep mosquitoes out if they're able to get through there. And if you actually don't have a screen on a window, then I recommend that you can actually, a simple hack to do uh, something like that is to actually just go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's and just get the, uh, get a window screen and just cut it to fit and just tape it on there. I've used uh, basically duct tape works out to be okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this over here on this window. I'm gonna zoom out, out a little bit so you can see how this works. You wanna make sure that the measurements fit out just fine. Um, the minimum clearance that you have is gonna be right around 20, about two feet, 24 inches. Just basically open the window. Like so, place your unit just right along the window. Just put it up right along the edge, um, and there's plenty of clearance. This is just resting on the windowsill, and this top part over here has that lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. I'm gonna use my control panel and zoom in there so you can maybe see a little bit better there. See, this lip right over here, the windowsill is just gonna go right on top of that. So. It's usually better if you have two people, but this is all you gotta do, is just put it right on top of that. So the window frame over here just goes right on top like so. All right, now, obviously that is not a little, not ideal. There's a little bit of gaps right here, a little bit of gap over here. You can adjust this to expand the cover a little bit more, but it's not necessarily gonna be a perfect insulation on um, all windows. Basically, you're trying to cover this as much as you can. Now, if this is going to be more of a permanent insulation, let's say uh, directly on top of, uh, you know, the whole summer or so, you're going to leave it here, then uh, you, you can think up some other ways to cover that area a little bit better. If you want to do something that is less of a hack job, you can just go to Home Depot and pick up maybe some pieces of wood and cut it to the frame so it fits that precisely. Basically, after you install this, or once you get the measurements about how this is gonna go, you can either go get some wood or say you could just go to your local 99 cent store, buy a bunch of foam core, foam board. You can double it up if you like and basically just cut it to fit and fit it in that spot. Note that this isn't gonna really do really well in a wet environment, obviously, with the 99 cent store, at least it's not laminated on here. I suppose you can spray some weatherproofing on here. Usually, I just get a piece of wood and just go ahead and cut it like so. Um, but I find that generally, if you're just gonna temporarily install it, using the built-in fins actually works out pretty well. And as long as you cover most of it, you're generally gonna be all right. And the idea is basically just to prevent uh, air from coming in and out through those vents so that it does the best in terms of sucking in the air or blowing it right out. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.